So welcome to our review of the Jackery Explorer 300 solar panel system and we're going to be running the new Starlink mini antenna system with it and we have a couple of different options of doing this. The uh, most obvious is, is to take the original power supply. We're not going to show that here. Everybody knows how that is. It's a uh, wall wart you plug it in the wall and you take the factory cable plug it into that and plug it in the back and you're online so you can use this um, Jackery 300 it does have AC inverter in it so you can use that brick on here problem we found is is that uh, that brick is kind of elongated and depending on how it's sitting it does not stay in a lot of the receptacles and that uh, gets any vibration it actually resets the unit so just be aware of that but obviously for what we want to do here our best choices is going to be the uh, USB C PD which is gonna give us around 20 volts out and we're powered that way right now you can see we are connected to the USB PD which is rated at 60 watts. Uh, there are some other units on the market. And uh, we'll try and take a look at some of the other units out there as we can get our hands on them and, and do an evaluation on them. Um, if you can see it, we're bouncing between 16 and 45 watts. Um, we have uh, 69 watts of solar input coming in. So we are definitely still charging even though we're running the unit. So you can see in the field, you can easily keep this thing running. Uh, during the day, we've been getting about six to seven hours of use out of the uh, Explorer 300. 300 is uh, a nice size unit for camping, probably a little bit big for backpacking. And we'll show some other options and other videos um, on some ways to do that with some little bit a little bit smaller the jackery does make a smaller unit that will run it for mm, probably about two hours max and you could put a small solar panel on that as well now we do have uh, we have a 12 volt to 24 volt I don't recommend running these on 12 volts the only way to do that is if you're in the car and the car is running otherwise they seem to be a little sensitive on the low voltage side when you're running it at 12 and if you just let it run on the battery if you don't have a good battery the voltage goes down they seem to get a little fussy and um, this is just a 24 volt up converter with a barrel uh, connector those connectors you can get they're made for the CCTV industry for the older style cameras that you could put on the uh, cables that you ran for your cameras but they work right there just make sure the sizing you get is correct but the common that's the common size we have there which is working quite well and then you've got uh, we got the cables you got a good selection of cables with the jackery they're giving you uh, a, uh, a quick disconnect cable and that comes off of there and then you can take that and that comes into a multi adapter so you can use it on other on other devices and can't really see it from here we take a sneak um, but anyway the unit if you can see that you can plug a USB right into the back of that panel you don't even need the battery and charge a phone and stuff like that direct which I think is a really great feature so we've been using these for probably a little over two years and uh, we've used them on a couple deployments um, with the articulated version 2 units and that would uh, that battery on that unit would run it easily without the solar um, for three hours range somewhere in there and the panel uh, it is a nice rigid it's magnets on here that hold it shut when you close it the magnets keep it shut there's a big bag on the back for all your cables and the stands fold out to allow you to get the right angle and 
they have worked worked really well uh, for us this one's uh, one of the newer ones and uh, we have one that got a little got a little muddy and we just cleaned it off and it kept working couldn't get all the stains out of it so we're uh, showing our our backup unit here that hasn't had that as much use on it um, so here's a small kit we just got put together it's a few items and that's the smaller jackerine we'll look at that in another another video that's going to be a usb um powered uh connection uh device only but that's small enough you can carry in your backpack this unit here is what we're recommending is something like this and we'll go into these in more detail and we're using an aftermarket because it's a seven amp hour uh 20 volt and that will run it there again that'll run it for a good six hours or so um, and if you manage it, you could easily get a couple of days in the field with that. But this is a, a good setup for a disaster team, a search and rescue team. They could take uh, six, eight batteries with them and just switch them out as they need to. Um, they do have a volta uh, battery indicator on the back. And it's uh, both of them are fused. And then it goes into that... Uh, um, CCTV type plug and you just use the regular cable uh, to plug this in uh, that comes with it or you can power it with a shorter barrel connector that meets the size requirements real important to make sure you get that inside diameter plug right otherwise you're going to have problems with the unit uh, resetting itself because it's going to be getting on and off power and that's how you reset them so they'll go back to factory defaults. So that's our quick little uh, look at the Starlink Mini. And uh, this one we carry with our, goes in the back of our command vehicle. Um, we've had, uh, as you can see on the brackets, uh, we had a uh, high performance uh, roof mount that we have on there. Uh, but ultimately the Mini has, uh, all the capability we need as long as we're getting a good hundred we our biggest use in the field is uh backup comms um using cell phone uh over the wi-fi connection in bad areas and uh, our mapping programs are real important to us so uh, teams could even take this out in the field in really remote areas carry that with them and be able to set that up within a few minutes and log in if they needed to and we're looking about uh actually being able to deploy that on a back on a backpack but we got to look at uh, rf limits and you know their uh there's you know what the radiation levels are going to be there as far as having it on somebody's back so we'll we'll take a look at that we're working on uh some things with that and we'll do another video so please check back we have a couple more videos including a complete setup video on the uh, the mini with uh, an array of different mounts and ways of mounting it and using it thank you and please subscribe uh, hit the like button helps us on the uh, algorithm and hit that notification so you uh, get notified when we are posting uh, new videos thanks press on <laughs>